amigos, how are you guys doing today? I am with my friend Leslie. Hello. And Leslie is a nail tech slash instructor. And I'm really excited because she's gonna do some nail art on my pinkies. Ooh. And I know, I'm really, really excited. You guys are gonna be, you guys are gonna love it. And second, she's also gonna give us some tips on getting your nails done, building relationships, and overall the health and, of your nails, right? Yeah. So let's get to it. You guys ready? Oh my gosh. Are you gonna make these look beautiful, Leslie? Yes. All right, ready? So Leslie, what do we have here? We have some awesome mission control. It's highly pigmented gel polish, um, mainly used for nail art, so we can get some smooth, gorgeous lines, and then we can cure it as we go, and we can create layers of dimension and color with our nail art. Mm, yeah. So you can't really do that at home. This is better to go to a nail tech for, That's right? That's true. Well, this product is professional product that you can, you know, have access to when you go to your nail tech. And awesome. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you do, you said you do dry manicures. So what yes. is that? So instead of soaking in a bowl, mm -hmm. I like to keep your hands and nails dry. Okay. And so depending on the client's need, I'll use my electric file with some bits that I have that I took a course for. Uh -huh. And so this is really nice because it kind of just gently exfoliates the dead skin off your nail plate. Uh -huh. So we can get some a clean surface so I'm able to apply the gel better. Nice. Um, the benefits of going with a dry manicure are that your nails stay kind of durable mm -hmm. because when they do get soaked in the water they get soft yeah and then when you're trimming or filing you can have more fray edges oh that's where some people have like little nicks and stuff because of that yeah and then the product adheres better when your nails are dry mm. because we don't want extra moisture in there we want it to stay on as dry yeah. as possible i mean so. that makes so much sense right yes yeah it's gentle it actually has diamond dust Really? Yes. Oh my gosh, so, we bougie up in here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really just, it basically will exfoliate the dead skin that you see right here uh -huh. on the nail plate. Because if we were to leave that and mm -hmm. I try to apply polish or gel polish, mm -hmm. you're going to get lifting or it's going to chip because uh -huh. that's just kind of in the way. So that's what I'm talking about when I say to make sure you have a nice clean surface. Oh, uh, so that's one of the tips, having a nice clean yes. surface and getting all that on. And I know these can seem intimidating, uh -huh. but I think the important thing is ask questions like, what is that? I usually try to make sure that I tell my client what I'm doing so that they don't get scared and they're yeah. like, hey, what's going on? Yeah, and so I try to explain that? like if they've never been to me before, I tell them what it is and what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And I definitely respect my client's wishes. Like if they're like, hmm, I'd rather you not, then that's fine. I just yeah. put it away. Okay. Um, but for me, it's one of my favorite tools that I've learned to use and nice. I feel like it's Part of my manicures. Yeah, know? I love it. So I just turn it on real gentle, and like I said, I'll start going down one side of your nail, and we'll just kind of push back and get some of that off your nail. Nice. And how does it feel? Good. It doesn't even hurt or anything. If I need to, I will trim excess cuticle with some uh -huh. nippers. I don't use scissors currently, uh -huh. um, but this really helps push everything back and get it out of the way so that when I go to trim it, it's easier, yeah. it's accessible, and I don't have to go digging and trying to get stuff out. Yeah, because that's what ends up hurting is when they go digging. Yeah. <laughs> anything I usually apply it right about here mm -hmm. and then I'll just wiggle it and push it back up. Mm. because if you put it too close to the cuticle it could flood and so it could run into the cuticle um. and then it's harder to clean up so you see how I kind of just wiggle yeah. it in there and you put it on your own nail I do I like to use my nail as a palette because it's just right there easily yeah. accessible and then before, you know, I'll, I'll wipe it as it goes.
Hey amigos, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys got some tips from this and also that you guys are inspired to go and work on your nails. Um, we want to thank Leslie. We'll put her handle down here and my handle. Be sure to check us out on Instagram. Thank you amigos. Adios pesos. Bye.